I added a second low-cost graphics card to this budget PC we recently built, and I was able to triple the frame rate of this RTX 3060 GPU. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at lossless scaling running on a secondary GPU in this budget PC we recently built. It's powered by an Intel i5-11400F, and we've got an RTX 3060 GPU. Of course, for 1080p, not a bad little setup, it actually works out really well. But I wanted to get a little more out of this machine, and luckily, lossless scaling does support frame generation on a secondary GPU. So what I've got here is an Intel Arc A380. Not a high-end card by any means. This is actually the low-profile version. It's got 6 gigs of VRAM, and I've installed it in the second slot on this motherboard here. Now what we're going to be doing is actually offloading frame generation to the Arc A380, allowing the RTX 3060 to do a brunt of the work, and that A380 is going to do all of our frame gen using lossless scaling. Now if you're not familiar with lossless scaling, it's not a free app. It's actually $7 over on Steam. In my opinion, it's well worth it. You can use it on a single GPU. It also supports upscaling. You can use it on an iGPU. But with a secondary GPU, this is some of the best performance that I've ever seen. If you end up doing something like this, there's a setting you want to change inside of Windows. But real quick, as you can see, we've got the i5-11400F. Uh, we've got the NVIDIA RTX 3060. This is a 12 gig model. And we've got that Intel Arc A380. I installed the Arc drivers first, then the NVIDIA drivers, and it works out really well. If you want to do frame gen on the secondary GPU, you will need to be plugged into the secondary GPU. So I've got it plugged into that Arc A380. From Windows, I'm going to go to Settings. I'm going to go to Gaming. I think you can get there from Display, Graphics, and from right here, Advanced Graphics Settings, Default High Performance GPU. I want the RTX 3060 to be my default. This is what I want the games to run on. We're only going to be using the secondary GPU for frame generation. And speaking of that, we've got lossless scaling here. Once I get in the gameplay, I'll show you exactly how to use this. But remember, it's not a free app. $7 over on Steam. So with that out of the way, let's get right into it. The first game I wanted to test here was Borderlands 4, because on the RTX 3060, we haven't been seeing amazing performance, especially at 1440p. Uh, the game definitely needs some more optimizations. But up in the top left-hand corner, we've got all the information we need. You'll see we've got two FPS counters listed. The left side is going to be our base FPS. Right side is going to be our generated FPS. So that's after we do a little bit of frame generation with lossless scaling. But right now it's completely off. Uh, with Afterburner, I've got the RTX 3060 at the top. That's going to be our main GPU. That's doing the grunt of the work right now. Right in the middle, Intel 11400F. Because I wanted to go with a lower end system. If we had an upgraded CPU or a newer CPU, we might see better performance than we're seeing right now. And then right below that, we've got the Arc A380. That card doesn't require any extra power, and that's what we're going to be generating our frames with. That's why we installed it in this PC. So once we get into battle, and you'll see it just dip down, it's probably going to go down even more than this. And right now, we are at, I believe, yeah, 1440p, medium settings. DLSS set to balanced. So, yeah, you can see it'll get on down. We're doing pretty decent. I mean, every once in a while I've got major dip, but that's kind of the game right now. So what I'm going to do here is add a little bit of lossless scaling frame generation. From the application, there's a few things we need to do. First things first, our preferred GPU right over here. This is the GPU we're going to be using to generate the frames. So we're going to be using the secondary A380 just for frame generation on this system. So it's going to run it over there. We're also plugged in to that A380. You have to be plugged into that secondary card in order for this to work correctly. Frame generation, and we've got scaling. We're not going to be doing any scaling here. This can really help out. The main thing I wanted to do here with this second GPU was frame gen. So the type, we're going to be using the latest version, Loss of Scaling Frame Generation 3.1. We've got a fixed mode and an adaptive. So from fixed, we can go up here. So if we want to do 2x, 3x, 4x, and it goes way up, we're not going to get great performance going past like 4 with this setup. And we've also got adaptive. 
So if you know you want to run this at a certain FPS, you can lock it there. So if we wanted to go to 120, we could do that. But what I want to do is go to our fixed. We're going to go to two, and then we've got a flow scale. So this can really hurt or help performance. Up to 100%, those generated frames are going to look very close to our 1440p resolution. All the way down, they're going to be downscaled even more. So what I've been doing with this setup is 60% flow scale. Fixed, 2x, we're using that A380. We're going to choose scale, move back into the game. Give it a few seconds to initialize. On the left, we've got our actual FPS. That's what this RTX 3060 is running the game at. So we didn't lose anything over here. And over on the right-hand side, we've got our generated frames. So now we're up to over 120 FPS at 2X with this setup. And you can see our GPU usage on both of those. Obviously with the 3060, we're way up there pulling 140 Watts. With that A380, it's a low wattage card anyway, but we're not maxing out generating those frames. Not too bad, and I'll tell you, I mean, it feels super smooth. And in the past, lossless scaling had a lot of issues with HUD elements, especially like our crosshair. Just moving it a little bit, you could kind of see it being generated, see those extra frames. But with this newer version and the fact that we're using another GPU, you don't see any of that. You might every once in a while, but it's not going to throw you off a of gameplay, especially if you're just looking to get better performance to have fun. So getting into battle here, it actually feels pretty decent. Not noticing a ton of uh, input latency. Well, I'm sure it's going to introduce some. For a single player game, it's not crazy at all. So yeah, we're now getting over 100 FPS with this on the RTX 3060 with that A380 generating those extra frames. Let's try 3X with this, and I'm not sure how well it's going to work out. We're going to unscale. We'll go to 3x, scale, back into the game, and here's 3x multiplier. I don't need this much FPS, but I did want to try it here, and I'm not noticing any weird anomalies with it. It's pretty good like this, but I'd say 2x would definitely be the way to go. It really gets us over that 60 hump and seems to work very well with this game. Next up, Cyberpunk 2077, and this is one of those games that does have DLSS frame generation built in. So it'll work on the RTX 3060, but we don't have multi-frame gen, and that's kind of the whole point I wanted to show you here with uh, lossless scaling and the secondary GPU. Right now, we're at 1440p ultra settings, and to tell you the truth, I mean, it's not horrible. Of course, it'd be nice we were running at 60 with this. I thought it would be a little less on the 3060. DLSS is set to quality right now, and we're averaging like 48 FPS. So what we're going to do, let's move out. We're going to open up lossless scaling. We're going to go up to three. We're just going to try this off the bat. We're at 60% flow scale, and we're going to be using that A380 as our secondary frame generation GPU. We'll choose scale, head back in. So our base FPS is the same, 47, 48, 49 FPS. But you can see our secondary generated FPS is now up in the 150s. And I'll tell you, this is one of those games that gave us a lot of HUD issues in the past. So in this dark area, you see our crosshair on screen. It used to be that this would be very glitchy. You could definitely see it being generated. But with these newer versions of lossless scaling, it has gotten so much better. And I'll tell you, if I didn't have that FPS counter on right now, I wouldn't know that I've got frame gen going. Another area to keep an eye out for is in the corners. So over on the right-hand side, especially like a lined area, with older versions, you definitely see those lines kind of being generated. But here it is super clean. It's very clear. One reason I've got both of those GPUs listed is just to show you how much is being used on that ARC A380. So at the very top, we've got the RTX 3060 that's doing the grunt of the work. We're running our base FPS off of that. We're running the game off of that. It's pulling around 172 watts. You can see it's maxed out at 100%. Moving down to that ARC A380, around 70 to 80% utilization. 
And this is a very low wattage card. It doesn't require any extra power. It's pulling around 34 watts, generating these extra frames. But man, I mean, this is pretty awesome. And now from here, instead of using fixed, we're going to go to adaptive. And our target is set at 80 FPS. So we'll scale, move back into the game, and that's going to get us right there up to 80. So we're actually not generating as many frames. And uh, that little GPU can definitely keep up like this. But even at uh, 3x frame gen with loss of scaling on that A380, it's definitely holding its own, up over 150 FPS on average. So yeah, this is pretty awesome, actually. Another game I wanted to test here was Oblivion Remastered, and this 3060 isn't horrible for this game. We're at 1440p high settings right now. You probably want to drop it down to medium if you're not using any kind of frame generation. But with uh, lossless scaling set to X2 here, over 100 FPS on average, and you'll see uh, our base FPS will dip under that 60 mark at these high settings. So yeah, this actually works out really well, and you can basically use any other GPU that you want. I didn't have access to something like a 1650 at the time of making this, but I thought about using one of those because they're so cheap. The A380 was one of the least expensive cards that I have on hand right now, so I figured we'd use it. And yeah, this works way better than I thought it would. Is it worth doing? I mean, for an older system, if you don't want to upgrade to a $500 graphics card and you've already got something like a 3060 that just needs a little extra, this could definitely get you by for a little while until you upgrade to something with a bit more power. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. And like always, thanks for watching.